community comments. So this will allow your members to leave comments underneath posts. Like if you have a blog article, there really is no need for a third party commenting tool like Discuss or Facebook comments. It's all built in now. And let me show you where you can enable the community comments. This will be under content and you'll see a new section called post comments here. And currently there are no comments on this site. Uh, we need to enable comments. So your new best friend is going to be this area here called comment settings. And the first thing you wanna do is do you wanna enable post comments on the site in general? And I'm gonna switch this to yes. And you can choose what you want the title text to be above the comments section. So you could say like, uh, what do you think? Leave a comment and that'll be the title. You can show the comment count on the post page. So if you wanna show how many total comments have been left, uh, I'll just do above post and in the comment section. Uh, you can choose to moderate comments. So by default, it's set to no. You can certainly change this to yes. And then you can select the membership plans whose comments would require comment moderation. So maybe general users, they can submit comments, but you, the admin, would need to manually approve them and moderate those comments, uh, whereas you can leave the premium plan unchecked and their comments will always be published in real time. Uh, I'll just set this to no for moderate. And then you can also enable or disable this for your different post types. So uh, maybe there's a post types like jobs that you really don't want people to leave comments for, but maybe for your blog articles, you do want people to leave comments underneath there. So I'll just leave it uh, active for now, but you can see here all the different post types, uh, property listings, products, etc. And then the last thing which is really cool is just to kind of minimize spam or just to make sure no one cannibalizes the comment section, you could set the maximum character limit for an individual comment. You know, I guess some people might write, write long comments, that's, that's perfectly fine. You can leave this empty um, or you could do like a thousand characters, um, anything like that would be fine. So I'll just go ahead and save these changes. And once this is enabled, let's actually go to a post uh, that's published on the site. We'll go to manage posts. All right, new live page. Okay, great. So we can see here's that title that I wrote. What do you think? Leave a comment. Right now there's zero comments. I'm logged in as this member and I can say this looks like a great deal and I can submit it. And now there is a comment here. And what's really cool is you can reply to your, you, people can reply to comments. You can reply to your one more question. Is this still active? And you can go ahead and send that. And obviously other people can leave comments as well. So this is all built in. Uh, it's all working great, uh, the comments section. And if we head on over back to the admin area, I'll just go ahead and refresh this post comments page. And we can see my comments here. Uh, one more question. And this was in response to, this is the one where I left a reply uh, to an existing comment. And you can manage it all here. 